After 45 days, we finally left Sayulita, which um, was about 42 days longer than we anticipated staying. It was just so easy to be there. We found this wonderful little trailer park um, with a community of young people and old people alike that spend their winters down there. So there were all these families. It was just really fun and we met a lot of really wonderful people. So we just ended up staying. But now we've headed inland and we are at the base of the Colima volcano. It's an active volcano. When we were driving through town, we saw this. We ended up parking at the base of the volcano in a town called Kalima. We took a two hour, maybe an hour and a half drive from Kalima up into the mountains to a little place, a little tiny village called La Maria, and that's where we are now. So we're gonna spend the day mountain biking up around the volcano and check it out. There are jaguars and pumas and all sorts of cool animals here that we don't have at home. We will never see one, but um, I'm putting it out there. Good kitty energy. Now from here, we were originally going to go up into the mountains, further into the mountains, to a little town called San Miguel de Allende. And we've decided to change um, our itinerary a bit in San Miguel on the way home because the monarch butterflies are migrating not far from where we are here. So we're going to drive um, over the top of the state of Michoacan. It's apparently a fairly sketchy place to be right now, so we're not going to go through it. We're going to drive over the top and then uh, just cross over into the butterfly sanctuary and go check that out. This road trip, which was going to be maybe two months, is turning into an all winter deal, but uh, it's really beautiful here. The weather is amazing. The country is incredible. It's now that we're down here, it's much cheaper to be here and to live here and travel than it is to be at home. So we're, um, we're feeling pretty lucky that we're here and can't believe that we haven't explored Mexico sooner. So here's a map of the area. The um, active volcano is Volcan de Colima and then the inactive is Volcan Nevado. We came in from the south through Kamala, which is right here, and then drove up. Uh, Don't look at the map. We? we drove up this way, and we are here in La Maria, and we're going to ride up the road to Yerba Buena, and then hop on the single track and go up as far as we can. No, he's trapped in hot molten lava. No, it's an earthquake, babe. No, that's a lava. That's what? That's hot molten lava. No, and those are the fumes. It's an earthquake and he's shaking back and forth. He's getting buried alive.
volcano and then there's this valley with this beautiful little orchard down here. Totally remote. Can you tell what this is? It's a tiny little fruit. Here's a bigger one right here. Can you tell what that is? Alright, here's a better view. Aguacate, aka avocado trees. I'm gonna go ride through the orchard. We're riding through this national park and there's something like 80% of the bird species and orchid species found in Mexico are found in this park. And this isn't an orchid, but it's a bromeliad. Just to give you an idea of what they look like growing in the wild, we always find them in our supermarkets and floral stores, but it's pretty cool to look up and see them. These trees are also a host. I don't know if you can see it. These are all orchids growing here along these main branches. They're not in bloom um, this time of year, but nearly all of the trees that you look up into you'll find orchids growing all along their branches and here's a bromeliad in bloom that big yellow bloom Volcano show keeps going on. Amazing. Okay, what's going on up there? An erupting volcano. <laughs> as big as I have. Oh my gosh, there's ash coming down it. Okay, that's way bigger than what we've been seeing. <laughs> that's like a full-on eruption. Kind of scary. Maybe we should turn around. <laughs> this is, we don't want to go any further, put it that way. That is amazing. That's what Mount St. Helens looked like. That doesn't look like any of the other eruptions we've been watching. It's much bigger and grayer. That's crazy. What do you think about this fresh pea? I think it's awesome! Jeez. Look at it. It's just coming out and coming out and coming out. You can hear it. Can you hear it? That looks... I'm glad we're not hiking up there. I don't <laughs> think you can. You'd like... be D-E-D -E if you were up there. I don't know what to think about that. It looks cool, but I wouldn't want it to be too much bigger.
Yeah, it's not shooting black stuff straight up. It's still bubbling out pretty good. <laughs> Can I see that? 